Hey what is up guys, Colossnex here, and I'm here today with another tech review for you guys. So I got this new GoPro for Christmas from my father-in-law, and uh, I brought it with me to Churchill. Since the box didn't fit in my suitcase, I had to open the box, take it apart, and uh, stuff it into these <laughs> Under Armour socks. So that was the only way I was going to get it here, and uh, it was a safe way to protect it. So here I am, uh, pulling some parts out of the mystery sock. And uh, so far it's just attachments. So I left everything kind of wrapped up and you saw the picture already earlier of the box and what it looked like all together. So here I'm just kind of showing you all the individual pieces. So I kind of decided maybe to go into detail about every single little one, but that would be incredibly boring. And there are a lot of parts. So I'm going to skip a bunch of this and get to the good stuff. And here is the camera itself. So this is a Sportlook XDV. Uh, it's called an action camera. So it's kind of like a knockoff GoPro. It comes already in this protective plastic case. It looks pretty good and it looks like it's uh, you know, waterproof, I guess. And there's that switch on there that took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to figure out <laughs> how to open that thing up. But um, yeah, it comes with that uh, bottom piece there that you can unscrew and put different attachments on. So you can clip it to, you know, like a selfie stick or a strap around your head or what, you know, if you're going to anchor it down somewhere, uh, there I am trying again with that switch. Don't worry. I'll probably get it one day. So this camera has a ton of filming options. Uh, the most notable ones are 1080p in 30 FPS and 60 FPS. It also shoots in 2.7 K and 4k. And it also has a slow-mo mode at 720. So I tried them all and I had a bunch of different, um, videos I was going to show you, but I, I think that would make it very long because like I'll save you guys the trouble. Uh, it's advertised as 4K. It's printed on the cover of the camera that it's 4K and it does run pretty, pretty nice as 4K, but it's incredibly choppy. The 30 FPS, it just does not look good. So I don't know if I'll ever use it. Same with the 2.7 K. It's also really choppy. So I prefer the 1080 at uh, 60 FPS. So it does, it, you know, it's, it's obviously not as good quality as 4K, but it definitely runs the smoothest. So if I was ever filming any kind of action thing, that's the option I would use. So there's the power button on the front there, just powering it up. And there you see, yeah, Sports XDV. And it also has in the side, I'll show you at some point, but it has a micro SD card where you can plug it in and it has a standard micro USB charger that works with most Android cell phones. So that's what the screen looks like. You can tell it's recording on the bottom there. The settings are on the top left and it actually has the capability of connecting to Wi-Fi, which is really cool. When you turn on the Wi-Fi, you can uh, download an app called sports look. There might be other apps. I'm not sure, but you can connect it to your phone so that if your GoPro is rigged up to your head or you can't see it, you can see the screen from your phone. So kind of useful and you can change around the settings and stuff on your phone instead of using this camera and I, yeah I just tap the screen there I just I feel like in this day and age you just have to like touch to see if something's a touch screen or not so there's uh there's the Wi-Fi option there and to get to the Wi-Fi that is just the top side button so as for the power button it also doubles as the menu button and on the top there's an OK button which you can use to start and stop recording and it's also what allows you to you know select your options in the menu so what you see here is an attempt at me being creative. Uh, I really wanted to get this thing around my head so I could test it out. So it comes with a couple straps. I just attached the straps together and I found a couple attachments that I think work together and, and, and are intended to go together and could work as a head strap for the GoPro. So I kind of found out that these two pieces can clip together and then the back clip thing goes onto the strap, which you can attach to your head. And the camera fits into here without its protective casing, which is a bummer. I like the protective casing, so I might order a better uh, headpiece, you know, attachment rig so that I can put it on my head. And uh, at the time of me filming this, I did not know there was an app you could download. So I was just kind of putting it on my head, turning it on, hoping it was filming the right area. So you'll see in the next uh, few shots here, there's me with the camera rigged up to my head. And then uh, I'll show you some test videos of the GoPro. So I went for a little walk down the hallway just to kind of do a little quick test run before I brought it outside for a longer walk. So just kind of up and down the hallway, just some pretty basic shooting here, decided it was good enough. And then I decided to gear up and go outside. OK, 
Okay, so here's a video of me and Brianna walking down to the Hudson's Bay. It's just like seriously like a two minute walk from our apartment, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so pretty good lighting outside. The sun is out, some good colors in the sky. So I think this is a pretty good test video and a pretty good indicator of how good this camera is, you know, in motion and outside. And uh, I'm not holding it, it's attached to my head. So obviously slight movements it's picking up, you know, if you just kind of mount it to a car dashboard, it wouldn't seem so shaky and um, you know in hindsight looking back this video I probably should have aimed the camera a little further down again if I had known that there was that app on my phone I could have just adjusted based on what I was seeing on my phone screen and then adjusted the camera but in this video I just kind of turned the camera on and uh, hope for the best here so I'm gonna stop talking now and you can enjoy the footage and decide what you think about the Sportlook XDV action camera Okay, so that's going to do it for this YouTube video. This has been my Sportlook XDV quick unboxing and review. If you like the video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This camera is regularly $80, so is it worth $80? I don't know. That's up to you. I think that it is a pretty good bang for its buck. So thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe. Claw next out.